weeks, months, and years, building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see the killer whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen their social bonds and allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just another reason why they are known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca. Their common name is the killer whale. These five whales have their own personal names. Cayucan, Tuar, and joining us right here is Takara, Sakari, and Kamea. Kamea is our youngest whale at only six years old. And her mom Takara is our oldest whale at 28 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of our tribe, which means she is the leader. The whales trust us, and they play an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we can teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. And joining us at the slide out, we have Mary, Laura, and Sean, who are going to be demonstrating some of those behaviors. One of the very wow. first behaviors that we teach hey, these whales come in. is called a fluke present. This is when the whale turns over, just like Sakari and Kamei are demonstrating, and presents their tail flukes to the trainer. Not only does this behavior allow us to get a very good glimpse of their entire body, but it also gives us easy access to the shallow veins that are located on the white underside of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians can collect blood from these veins at least once a month, and the whales are remaining to, they are conditioned to remain calm during this entire procedure. Now you might notice that Sean and Laura are giving the whales a nice massage. Killer whales have very sensitive skin, so this is one of, a lot of the ways that we are able to build the relationships that we have with them. Now, collecting blood is just one of the ways that we're able to ensure the health of these animals. Another important diagnostic is weighing the animals. And on the other side of the pool, Tikar is going to be demonstrating a behavior that allows us to do that. We have a killer whale sized scale located on one of our adjacent back pools where we can ask the whale to slide on up, up and out of the water just like she's demonstrating. Now you may notice that a portion of her body from her dorsal fin to her tail flukes is still inside of the water. This portion is called the peduncle, which has a lot of muscles that can weigh several hundred pounds. Now in order to get an accurate weight, we simply ask the whale to lift their tails up and out of the water. And that way, we find that as of Tuesday morning, Takara weighs 4,580 pounds. Now, these healthy behaviors help us make sure that our whales are staying healthy and thriving. Mami, los whales se parece que son como tiburones. And the parent isn't just visible. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Observational learning and mimicry play a critical role in the development of a young killer whale. From the moment they are born, they are seen learning necessary life skills by watching or playing follow the leader with their moms or other members of their pod. Then here at SeaWorld, we see them fit playing follow the leader with us by mimicking our movements. Does this side of the audience want to play a short game of follow the leader with Sakari and Kamea? Alright! With your left hand, raise it all the way up in the air and give those whales a great big hello! Sakari and Kamea are paying very close attention to you. Killer whales are very curious animals. We often see them doing different things like spy hops or even jumping out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings or even just for playing. Now Sakari and Kamea are 
going to be demonstrating one of those behaviors that we call a sighting bow. Now, with this side of the audience, go ahead and point to the wheel with your left hand and throw your arm over your right shoulder. Watch as Sakari and Kamei are going to dive down to this 40 foot deep pool using their peduncle to propel themselves up and out of the water. Great job! Now over on the other side of the pool, Takara is going to be showing us and demonstrating different ways that killer whales can communicate.